and I just finished Kurt Thompson's 16 week upper register course minus our review session tomorrow but I finished with the techniques uh, so it's really exciting it's been a while now that I've been working towards this and I think I've made a lot of progress um, for example short call was an excerpt that if I saw an audition list I usually would decide not to take that audition <laughs> because I knew that it was one that I consistently didn't play well and now I feel like I'm playing at a much higher level. It's not one of the excerpts I've had the benefit of practicing extensively over and over again so there's still more work to do on it but at least the range isn't a problem and I owe a lot of that success I think to doing this upper register course. I've noticed a lot of progress that I've made during it um, when I started it, it was, you know, sometimes I could squeak out of that high C, sometimes I couldn't. But now I can consistently play it, and usually I can go to like the um, like F above that. So that's definitely a lot better for me. It makes me feel a lot more confident and secure when I'm playing in the upper register. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience with the course, because this is the end. This is my last video. So I just want to give you an overview of my experience. Uh, first of all, working with Kurt in general, it was pretty good. Um, he's mostly like a laid back person. Um, you know, we would usually, well, he would send me a video of the techniques ahead of time and I would watch the video. And then we would have a phone call <clears throat> where we went through them and sometimes I would play some of the techniques or if I had questions about them, I would ask and, you know, we would work through them. Um, yeah, it was, we didn't really have problems. Um, we had like one misunderstanding like week three, but since then, nothing. It was easy. He was professional. It was a good experience. Um, as far as um, his interest in helping his students, I felt like he was really invested in helping me get better. Um, he, he would listen to my specific problems and, you know, talk about ways to address them and, you know, he would remember <laughs> things that I had said earlier, which is good. Sometimes teachers don't remember things that happened earlier, but it always seemed like he did, and he would check up on if things had gotten better or not. One of the things that he wanted me to talk about was the, I guess his reputation maybe on Facebook of being a little bit sexist. I can say that I remember two or two and a half years ago when he first put out that video about women brass players and I remember not liking it and I was a little upset about it and then again recently when it happened but for me like even though that is an issue you know I think it's a touchy subject I think that he does want to help women brass players um, he wants to help all brass players I think I never felt like he treated me differently because I was a woman other than he offered me to do this course for free. So that was actually a good benefit, you know, and there was a moment before I reached out to him when he had this great offer a few months ago when I wondered, you know, is this going to make me look bad to other women? But ultimately, I wanted to get the experience of doing the course and see for myself, and I'm happy that I did it. You know, I don't think that... Kurt hates women or thinks that we can't play high. I think he does want to help. Um, just maybe he can work on his way of reaching out. We've talked about that a little bit. Um, so I think that, you know, women who are watching this and are curious, like, I don't think you should let, you know, things that you've heard about his reputation or let fears of what other people might think of you hold you back because you know I've only had one person email me asking what I was doing and she was really nice and you know she said she understood I don't think there's gonna be backlash like all women want 
other women to go out there and be the best that they can be. And I really think that this has helped me and I am stronger now and I can do more. And in this way, I can be a better example to other women. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, the benefits I've already talked about, I can play more strongly and more securely in the upper register. Um, I think I think that has potential to help everybody. Um, for me, what I really like about it is that, you know, he's having you do a lot, you know, 75 techniques, but all of them for a short amount of time. So even if some techniques don't really help you or things that you've done before, you're hitting working on the upper register and on brass plane from so many different ways, you know, like, I mean, 75 techniques, that's more than I ever, more ways than I ever tried to improve my upper register. Like, I spent a lot of time on it, and it got better, but it got better really slowly. But hitting it from all these different angles, I think, is one of the things that makes this course successful. So I do think this course has a lot of good things to offer. So I recommend anyone that is interested and can afford it to check out this course. At least the first lesson is available for free, so I recommend doing that for sure. Sometimes Kurt has promos too. You know, I think this course is good. It has a lot of good things to offer. And if you want to take your upper register to the next level, this is definitely something that can help. So. Thank you for watching this video and for any of the other videos you watched before. If you have any questions for me, feel, feel free to contact me. I'm happy to talk about my experiences, um, especially, you know, horn players. Some of the techniques had to be modified a little bit to work with our instrument, and I can help you with that. So I hope you've enjoyed the videos and watching my experience. I've enjoyed making them and being a part of it. So again, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll be seeing more of me, and good luck with everything. Bye.